So if you can make your attacks and your dinks look exactly the same, you're gonna make your opponent pretzeled. They're gonna be looking like this, they're gonna be going all over the place. All right, today we're gonna work on roll dinks. You've probably heard of roll volleys where a player takes a ball out of the air and brushes up the back of the ball. Well, you can still do that with your dink shot. So if I am always speeding the ball up when I'm rolling it, then I'm predictable, right? My opponent knows, okay, when Zane dips the paddle head down, he's speeding it up. Well, unless I can add this shot, which will be very good for your game as well, the roll dink. So the roll dink is very similar to the roll volley in a lot of ways, except it just doesn't have quite as much swing. So the preparation is going to be the exact same as our roll volley. And I realize now, talking through this, you probably have no idea, maybe have no idea what a roll volley is. If that's the case, we have a whole nother video. I'll link it in the description to a roll volley. It's a much more attacking shot to implement in your game. But a roll dink has a little bit of preparation just below the level of the ball. And we're just gonna barely brush up the back of the ball when we're dinking. This is gonna generate a little bit of topspin, and it's also going to make us unpredictable. When my opponent sees my paddle head go down, they don't know whether I'm going to be attacking it or just hitting another dink. So if you notice on some of these dinks, when I'm taking it out of the air, I'm getting my paddle below the level of the ball and just having a tiny little bit of brushing up on the swing. It's not very much, right? It's not quite like my attacking roll volley where I have a bunch more swing, but it's subtle. The preparation is the same here. If you're a player that's used to slicing or creating backspin, generally we have a pretty open paddle face and we're swinging downwards. Now we're gonna change that. We're not gonna completely close the paddle face here, but it's gonna be a lot more up and down as opposed to open or closed. We're gonna have that paddle pretty flat and we're going to swing upwards rather than having it open and swinging downwards. That's a good question. Atta boy. Good stuff. Not a paid actor. A key here is to get even further below the level of the ball than you think you need to. And that's going to allow us to continue to hit upwards on the ball. If I'm prepping my paddle behind the ball, I can only hit flat. If I prep below the level of the ball, I can swing just a little bit low to high and get a tiny bit of top spin. This is a really nice shot to put some pressure on your opponent and push them back. They may think that you're speeding this ball up when in actuality you are dinking the ball. Is actuality a word? But it's a good thing to be able to implement in order to keep your opponent off guard. So a drill that we're going to do is my opponent is going to work on hitting everything right around my kitchen line. And I'm gonna work on taking this ball out of the air getting below the level of the ball and swinging slightly upwards. And actually, something that you can do to notice whether you are generating topspin or not is actually create a line on the ball. Let's go do that. Okay, so you can grab a, a Sharpie and then just draw a, a line around the center of the ball. This is gonna help you visualize the spin that you're, you're generating. There it is, just a straight line around the center of the ball. So as, as my partner is aiming right for my kitchen line, 
I'm still trying to dink these balls into the kitchen and I'm looking for that end over end spin. And it's not a ton, right? It's very subtle because in this amount of space, the ball doesn't have a tremendous amount of time in order to spin. Really, this is all about the deception of making it look like we're about to attack that ball. Sorry, I need that one back. <laughs> Sorry, Tim. <laughs> so if you can make your attacks and your dinks look exactly the same, you're gonna make your opponent Pretzeled. They're gonna be looking like this. They're gonna be going all over the place. When you dip that paddle head below the ball, they're gonna be thinking that you're speeding up when actually you're dinking. But it's important to make those shots look the same. If you liked today's video, please feel free to share it with a friend and make sure to subscribe. It helps me out and helps me grow my channel.